right there. Happy New Year to you and how you be everybody? Oh man, 2022, the year, let's call it, of growth. This is the year that all screen printers, we all gonna have some growth in our business. So, all right, man, so let's get going. Um, today we're diving in on registration marks. I see people doing the, on the palette, drawing the lines, you know, so they could line up their film and all that. Okay, I rarely do that. What I do is I bring the film on the palette and then I'll try to align each screen based on that film with those little registration marks. We all have registration marks. So ones like this over here, like this one over here, this is my registration mark. This is where I put the design and all that and I'll print this and all my film has the registration marks. Okay, but I came up and did this. Look at that. Now all these lines here, two inch, three inch, you got the chest, you got the pants. Remember the last time what happened with the issue with my pants where I placed it in the wrong spot? Well, that ain't gonna happen no more. So this is what I created. And I gotta give credit to, this guy is called uh, Kevin Aker. A YouTube Kevin Aker, go check him out. I saw him and I like that idea where you don't have to um, draw lines on your palette you know where you put your palette tape and you take a ruler why do that and smart he goes you have screens take a screen make this film of this just like this here check it out just like this burn it on the screen bring the screen and then bring it to your press and print on it we're gonna use some black um water-based ink we're gonna print on it, and that's how it goes. You don't have to um, be drawing these lines there no more. Good, but I figured something else out that I don't even no longer have to be using the film. All I gotta do is put that there, put my um, registration tape on top of it, and register every color because this film here is gonna be the registration marked on the top is gonna be exactly every film that I print is gonna have that registration mark. So all I gotta do is align that screen to that and that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna try it so you can see what the idea I'm talking about and how it was gonna make your registration when it is time to do these multiple colors much, much faster. So right now, let me expose this, line it up and show you what I'm talking about. Let's do this. clients and then we'll start setting everything up by the way this video is sponsored by Printavo Printavo is a simple management software Printavo will help you handle scheduling manage orders automation and online stores regardless if you are a small or big print shop Printavo will help you streamline your business right now you could go to printavo.com and look at the three different packages they have all of them are very affordable. But the good thing is that if you use the promo code Taino, you will get 50% off the first month. Oh, that's a great deal. So go to printavo.com and decide which of the three packages you want. They're all great. But let me tell you, you will not regret ordering this software. So I want to thank Printavo for sponsoring today's video. Now back to me. Okay, put the film on the palette. We're gonna register this in a few, but these are the things you're gonna be needing. You're gonna need some palette tape. This is the main one. This is what we're gonna print on right here. Then I'm gonna use some registration tape. This is the trick to register all the colors without using the film. And then at the end, if you need the palette, then you, you, could, you could use a PMI tape. And I'm gonna use a water-based ink black so it could look real nice. So right now, let me go get the screen and set this up.
Now that we already put the water-based ink, make sure it's flooded, you don't want it to dry up, and we're gonna pass it on the paper, dry it, bring it back, and then put the registration tape on top. So, one, two, then with this water-based ink, you have to flood, okay? Here it is, check it out. Came out real nice, the inches, everything, pretty good. So you're gonna go now is flash it, make sure that ink is all nice and dried up. Once you bring it back, tap, nice and dry. Now your palette has all the registration marks, the lines, measurements, and everything. Ready to put any chest print, the pants like before, line it up without needing a ruler, a marker, none of that. And the beauty of it is, once you already have that here, remember that we have two templates of this. One for this, just to make the screen. The other one, only the three on the top, three on the bottom, this is where we put our design. So when you bring in your multiple colors, you don't need the film no more. All you need is to set up the screen, basing it on these registration marks, and then, get the registration tape, put it over, make sure that it's on top. And that's it, now you have your registration tape which you can just peel off and it's okay. But now you could bring all your other screens, so multiple screens and just register one color, then erase and basing it on this registration tape that you already have in your palette. And remember the film has to be the same, this film, we have the other film that has all three here and three in the bottom. This is gonna line up with this here. And you don't need no film to be registering colors. So, sorry about my throw. I think I'm getting kinda sicky. So, if you like this video, press that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Be thankful always, be grateful always, and just let God take you on the ride. Peace out. Oh, baby. I need some water, please. Not feeling good. <laughs>